Now boxing and tomorrow night in Manchester, Doncaster's Gavin McDonnell can take another step closer to emulating his identical twin brother Jamie, the world bantamweight champion. Well, just to confuse everyone, both Gavin and Jamie stripped off for today's weigh-in ahead of Gavin's world super bantamweight title eliminator against Panamanian Jorge Sanchez tomorrow night. Well, earlier in the week, John Shires went to see Gavin in training. Ever closer to making history. Never before have identical twins both been world champions. First, though, Gavin McDonnell has to get past the tough Panamanian Jorge Sanchez. It's a step up, yeah. But it's, it's one I'm confident in, um, confident of beating him. Uh, the kid's unbeaten. He's a bit of a banger. He's gonna, he's gonna test me. But because of where I'm going, do you know I mean, world, uh, world level, I need these, these tests, and, and it's gonna be a good fight. Sanchez is 15 and 0 nine knockouts and uh, the footage that we've seen, he can really, you know, he sleeps people, you know, he can really, really punch. Um, you know, Gavin's not operated at that sort of level. But then again, Sanchez, he's not fought anybody that's had real fights like what Gavin has. The fight is a classic risk or reward. Lose it, he's back to square one. Win it, he's probably got a pop at Julio Theja, the man his twin brother Jamie beat to take the IBF bantamweight crown at the Doncaster Dome in May 2013. The blueprint's there, we've beaten once. Um, I fight similar to our kid and I'm capable of doing exactly the same. Tomorrow night in Manchester, Jamie will be in Gavin's corner, a constant source of inspiration and motivation. If he can win this, you know, it means everything. You know, he's always rooting for me. You know, I want the best for him and, you know, he needs to win a world title, you know, to make a better life for himself. I mean, I've been there alongside him, do you know what I mean? He, he, I felt as though I've won a, world, a couple of world titles myself. Uh, we are having to actually fight. Um, they mean just as much to me as they do him, but um, for me to go in there and, and, and return the favour um, and hopefully uh, better myself and, and, and my wife and my kids, um, it's what that's what we what's what we want to do. The twins have been sparring as part of the build-up, so is there any chance that one day they could have a family world title showdown? I'd love to get in there and give him a good iron in front of everybody, but you know we keep it behind closed doors. Sparring's competitive, but you know unless you hate each other, you can never get in there uh, and really fight. You train them both. They're both listening now. <laughs> Who's the best? <laughs> um, it, it, do you know what? You used to be quite a gap. Now that gap's not there. What I will say is that Jamie's world champion. You know, he's been there and he's done that when it, when it counts, not in the gym. Um, and Gavin's yet to do that. And Gavin's, this is what Saturday's about. You know, Gavin's got to prove that he can step up to Jamie's level. So can Gavin achieve that extraordinary family double? The countdown has begun. <laughs> Some serious fence sitting there from Dave Caldwell. Ooh, didn't yes. want to answer who was better. No, he didn't, did he? It's nice so. to see Gavin getting the recognition he deserves. Mm -hmm. Best Wish of luck to him tomorrow night. Thank you, Chris. Tomorrow night, Doncaster's Gavin McDonnell is hoping to take another step closer to joining his twin brother as a boxing world champion. Jamie holds the WBA bantamweight belts at Manchester Arena. Gavin takes on Jorge Sanchez in the WBC super bantamweight title eliminator. If all goes well, it means both could be champions in just a few months' time. We're doing well, and if I can follow in his footsteps, do you know what I mean, get me sent a world title, um, do you know what I mean? And another box tick. 